Oh dear. Right, it's another game pickup. Now, this is week ending 13th of March. Um, and I seem to have picked up um, a few more games. So I'll start with the older ones um, and then lead on to the uh, Xbox One. So I've got some PS2 pickups and uh, Xbox One. So um, let's have a look. So the first one is Fantastic Four for the PlayStation 2. Uh, it's interesting. It's the original, well, not the original Fantastic Four movie, but the um, the remake, not the uh, unreleased Fantastic Four. It was utter garbage. Um, we've got Bratz, Rock Angels. That's obviously a personal favourite. Um, played it a lot, and uh, yeah, so that should be fun. That's the trouble with collecting collecting these games. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you have to get games that you wouldn't usually buy. So um, for these particular games, um, there's one or two that I've never played. That one. Um, and uh, yeah, other games that I've played quite a lot. So right, next one is. 007 Agent Under Fire, which, um, again, I don't think I've ever played, actually. Um, I don't remember it. I don't remember playing it, anyway. So, alright. Theme Park World, played a lot of it on the PC. Um, this should be interesting playing it on the PlayStation 2. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Da Vinci Code. See, some of these, uh, some of these have got uh, manuals and the original, um, the original gubbins that you get in the uh, uh, the case when you originally buy it. Dance UK XL, get in. Learned all my dance moves from that. I remember playing that with the girls. Or something similar, at least, anyway. The trouble is, I don't think I've got a dance mat anymore for my PS2, so I'm probably going to have to pick up another one. So, this next one, I have played, although, to be fair, I don't particularly like the sneaky, sneaky games. Um, but it's Splinter Cell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Um, as I said... <coughs> excuse me. I do remember playing it. Uh, played it a fair bit. I don't know what made me play, because it's not the sort of game that I'd usually play. Um, well, saying that, I, I, I wouldn't play first-person shooters, but uh, I still end up uh, still end up buying a load and, and, and playing with uh, people uh, online. What else have we got? We've got Chronicles of Narnia. Yes, The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe. That's interesting. Good film as well. Yeah, good film. Uh, true Crime, New York City. Now, is this a follow-on? I don't know. It'd be interesting to know. I don't remember. I thought True Crime was... It was just called True Crime. I don't remember it being called New York City. I'll have to have a look, look at that one. Soldier of Fortune. The Gold Edition. This game features excessive blood, gore, and violence. Really? That'd be uh, why it's got the 18 rating on. <coughs> the old Saddam Hussein on the back. Who knew? Right, I'll put these next ones in order. Um, order of the books. Now, I'm missing, I'm missing a few, obviously. Um, Harry Potter, Chamber of Secrets. The second book. Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, the third book. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the fourth book. So we're missing, what we're missing, we're missing Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone, depending on which country, country you are in. We are missing the um, 
Oh my god, the Order of the Phoenix, Half Blood Prince, and the Deathly Hallows. That should be interesting. This, I had to get it. Unfortunately, I think it cost me about 10 pence that. Top Trumps. The James Bond collection from Russia with Love. I've got all these films as well. Do love James Bond. Well, not love him, but I love the films. Um, right, to the next to my son. I'll get joy out of these eventually. FIFA 6. And FIFA 7 in a green case, which I can only assume that they broke the original case, because in my mind, PlayStation games tend to be in blue cases. And I think what they've done is put a... Um, they've put a uh, uh, it in an old Xbox case. What else we got? Um, Masters of the Universe, which is interesting. The old He-Man. And finally for PlayStation 2, we've got Brian Lara, Cricket 2005. Never played a cricket game, should be interesting. I know nothing about cricket either. So that takes the grand total of games up to, I think, about 75. So I've got a long way to go yet. Um, I've just identified another 124 games from a... Um, place called, I met them first at Sheffield, uh, Rock Rebellion. Now, they've got 124 games in their list that uh, I don't have um, the rest of their game. I mean, they've got <coughs> they've got a fair few tubs of them, but the rest of their games, they've, I've, I've obviously got them on my shelf, so um, I'm going to get in touch with them and try and organise. Uh, he's not going to be at, uh, he told me the other day, he's not going to be at any uh, retro gaming um events coming up so I want to concentrate online. Now they do a lot of C sixty four, Amstrad and Spectrum stuff as well. But as I got rid of my six one two eight a long time ago, um it's uh, it, it's something that uh, I'm gonna have to look into. But certainly with their PS two stuff, um there's an awful lot uh, they they've got an awful lot in their tubs. They've got a few Wii stuff a uh, few Wii games um few um uh, xbox old xbox games um and what have you i didn't i don't think they do mega drive or or um or snes games so the next one in order of purchase is um transformers devastation for the xbox one now this it reminds me of the old 80s stuff the old 80s cartoon um, it's absolutely brilliant, uh, a, a fantastic game. Plays Optimus Prime, um, Bumblebee, um, who else? It says on the back, Sideswipe, Wheeljack, um, and Grimlock, which is uh, which is interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm about mission 10 through. Um, I need to finish it. Obviously, all these games, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty bad. So, um, let's have a look. What else have we got? We've got um, Halo 5. Halo 5 Guardians. I've not played it myself, uh, but my son has. Um, it's It does look good. It's got Nathan Fillion in it as well, as one of the, uh, <coughs> one of the other Spartans. Uh, or other soldiers, at least, anyway. And... Um, yeah, the gameplay does look good. It looks, it, to be fair, it looks better than uh, which one? It looks better than Halo Four. Now I've got Halo Four as well in the. Uh, I think I've got that. Well, no, I've, yeah, I've got that in the Master Chief Collection. Um, the only one I'm missing from that is Halo Wars. Uh, now I need to pick that up. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, playing that. It's more of a Halo Wars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's it's more of a. Um, uh, like a command and conquer type thing, a strategy thing where you build build resources and um, uh, bases and send out troops and what have you. And finally is, um, I've been waiting for this for a long time, this game. Um, I pre-ordered it last year. It's only recently come out, I think March the 9th uh, for the uh, Xbox One PS4. Um, 
I don't think it's out on PC yet, The Division. This is a cracking game. It's a scary look at, uh, or in my opinion, it's a scary look at what would happen in a global pandemic where basically everybody shits themselves and um, the whole world goes to pot. So um, you've got uh, looting, um, so, uh, runs for power, uh, street gangs, prisoners, you name it, it's, it's in there. You've got um, famine. Um, you know, I mean, it's spooky, the fact that you're walking around a city that's um, obviously a real city, um, really in Manhattan, and there's just nothing. You, you see on the TV, you see in the news, people walking around. And I know it's only a game, but it's spooky. You know what I mean? You've got cars abandoned, you've got weather. At night time, it gets even worse. You've got fog, you've got blizzards. Um, you, you know what I mean? It's, it's absolutely mental. Um, now, and then to top it all off, you've got a uh, you've got a PvP area. Now, PvP area, it's it's again, it's it's you, you you're cautious because you you don't want somebody that apparently is your friend um, helping you, and then the minute you come to get your loot out um, to the extraction point, shoot you in the back of the head because that can happen. You know what I mean? That just yeah, it's it's not great. Um, they are having a few server problems. Uh, it tends to be um, around the time when the Yanks come online. Um, but that's not to say it's their fault. I'm not blaming anybody. Um, it's only been out for a few days. I can expect lots of patches. Um, they've got server downtime. I mean, I'd, I was playing it yesterday morning and, and um, they got like 15, 20 minutes worth of downtime. Server restart. But <coughs> again, that's to be expected. That's fine. But uh, no, it's a cracking game. So... All being well, I should have another pickups video um, in the next few weeks. Um, looking forward to it. Um, the aim is to... Um, I, I want um, to build up my collection. I've got, uh, after Leeds um, Video Game Market... Uh, not Leeds, what am I talking about? The Doncaster Video Game Market 3 that I went to. Um, I picked up um, the stuff that I wanted for the Mega Drive, um, as you saw in the video. Uh, if you haven't, then... There's a, um, it's on my channel, that's fine. Um, this, I'm still a long way to go um, of even getting close to the games that I had when I was little, um, but certainly with the number of systems that we've got, I'm trying to concentrate on one that's um, that's uh, particularly means something to me, which is the PlayStation 2. Um, you know, I mean, there's 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 lots of lots of games that I played on there. Uh, spent time with uh, the kids growing up. Uh, my two daughters. Um, uh, we had a PlayStation Two. Um, that's the first console that I bought for them. <coughs> and uh, yeah, um, I'm I'm just you know, I mean, it's it's just basically rekindling the um, uh, rekindling times past um, and, and and trying to make it too expensive. Obviously, the the more as I get through the more common games, um, you know, I mean, you, you, your 10 pence is your 25 pence, um, all the way up to like pound 50. I mean, there are a couple knocking around that I've seen for 20 quid, and obviously the rarer ones you're going to be paying through the nose. So, but I don't mind doing that to build up the collection. So, um, that's me done. Um, what am I currently working on as well? I need to do a new intro for my videos because I realized that the only intro I've got is for the tubers high score challenge that i do every fortnightly um there'll be a run coming up for my um oh balls what game is it for the semi-final um what's it called is it juno first i think it's called the game um my card's got <coughs> completely gone so that'll be up in the next well it's got to be up by tuesday so uh by tuesday 8 p.m that'll be there um, what else? Um, and then I think we're back to normal. I honestly can't think. I'm, I'm up against uh, Acidonia, uh, 150, um, and I honestly don't think that I'm going to beat him. I mean, he's a, he's a great player. Um, I mean, if by chance I do beat him and get to the final, then I'm definitely not going to come out of that final. There's some cracking players in the final. Um, so... Yeah, so more than likely I'll be back to two uh, fortnightly videos. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, me done. 
leave comments in the section below and thanks for watching